In November of 2023, the Biden administration released a new rule to allow for beef imports from Paraguay, a country that has historically struggled to contain outbreaks of foot and mouth disease in their cattle herds. The United States has been blocking beef imports from Paraguay since 1997. Paraguay last reported cases of foot and mouth disease in 2012. The USDA's decision to resume Paraguayan imports relies on an analysis that was completed in 2018, but American inspectors have not conducted a site visit to Paraguay since 2014. American producers work tirelessly to produce the safest, highest quality, and most affordable beef in the entire world. Our consumers should be able to confidently feed their families beef that has met the rigorous standards required within the United States. The United States has not had a case of foot and mouth disease since 1929. We want to keep it that way by reversing this rule until a working group has had an opportunity to evaluate the threat to food safety and animal health posed by Paraguayan beef with an updated analysis. In other words, what we're asking for is for the Department of Ag here to protect our food supply for consumers by making certain that they use the most updated information possible before they allow Paraguay to begin importing beef here. Foot and mouth disease is something that we have literally eradicated, but if it ever gets back into the country, it can be a transferred to human beings, and it can be transferred to human beings back to livestock. Uh, it, it is contagious. We just simply asked that they update this study before they allow this to occur. Now today we have two votes in a row. The first vote is not on this particular issue, but the second vote is. And I would ask my colleagues for an affirmative vote to delay this rule, to stop this rule, delay it, until such time as we have an appropriate and timely review. And with that, Mr. President, I would yield the floor. Mr. President. <clears throat> Senator from Montana. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I first want to express my appreciation uh, to the good Senator from South Dakota, Senator Rounds. You know, Senator Rounds comes from South Dakota. I come from Montana. These are beef, both states. We raise a lot of beef. And if you come from a state like that, you understand how catastrophic lifting the ban on Paraguayan beef is. Uh, it is not a good idea. In our states, lifting this ban uh, is not supported by Democrats, it's not supported by Republicans, and the reason is pretty simple. Uh, the impacts that lifting this ban has on operations, ranching operations, and our food security is real, and it's very, very, very serious. This Congressional Review Act vote that we're gonna take, second one in this order, will overturn Biden administration's decision to lift that long-standing ban on beef imports from Paraguay. The truth is, the administration butchered this decision. I have serious concerns that Paraguay does not currently meet the animal health standards that are in place to warrant access to our markets. And Congress must step in and stop this decision in order to protect the American producer and the American consumer. Look, our ranchers in this country, I like to say our Montana ranchers, raise the best beef in the world. In fact, there's a bumper sticker this out that says beef makes Montana, Montana makes beef, and beef makes Montana. And that's a fact. And it's true all over this country. Our ranchers do it by holding themselves to the strictest standards when it comes to managing and maintaining their herds. Paraguay simply doesn't meet those same high standards. Uh, they have a history of foot and mouth disease, and lifting this ban poses a real threat to our food supply. Look, while the chances of foot and mouth disease outbreak to some may appear low, the effects of just one outbreak can be devastating. The cost to ranchers for our economy is estimated as high as $200 billion, and you say, 
Why could that happen? Well, I mean, how could it happen? It's just a little bit of meat coming into the U.S. Well, the fact is, this is highly contagious. And what happens if a cow contracts this disease is it's like pouring acid over their nose, over their udders, over their feet, blisters the mouth, the feet, the udders, and quite frankly, it goes to a herd like wildfire and puts people out of business and impacts our food security. Senator Rounds talked about this, but the USDA has, has to get more recent data and thorough data to show that Paraguayan beef is safe and healthy. It shouldn't be available behind the meat counter with the information that we have now because, as Senator Rounds pointed out, we haven't had inspectors there in 10 years. And there was only four there when they were there. Things change. Look, this isn't about one single country. The fact is, is I know Paraguay is a great ally. And I think the State Department is having a lot of influence on this decision because of that ally. And I appreciate countries who have the same values as us. But the fact is, we do not have the animal health standard in place. It's a broken process. And we need to have better standards if we're going to be bringing beef from anywhere. It's about keeping our consumers safe. It's about protecting America's cattle herds so that ranchers don't have to fear an outbreak of this disease. Because if it happens, they're done. Generational ranchers, done. Our food supply, put at risk. And if you want to know who's supporting this con uh, Congressional Review Act, folks that typically don't always get along together. NCBA. U.S. Cattlemen, RCAF, RCAF USA, Livestock Marketing Association, National Farm Bureaus, uh, uh, National Farmers Union, American Farm Bureau. This shows the kind of broad-based support for the CRA that Senator Rounds and I are doing on this issue. Rural America sees this as a real problem. This united front shows just how important protecting our cattle herds and our food supply is to American farmers and ranchers. I want to be clear. I share my colleagues' concerns about what's going on in China and Russia right now. I understand the importance of strengthening alliances with partners all over the world, including Paraguay. But I'm telling you, we shouldn't do it on the backs of hardworking American ranchers. We shouldn't do it on the backs threatening our food security. I understand that many folks back here have never went through a calving season. They've never had to fix fence. They've never had to manage grass, never had to butcher a cow. But I'm going to tell you, I see firsthand every day the kind of work these folks put in. And they don't need something that's totally out of their control, putting them out of business and putting our food supply at risk. That's why it is critical that Congress needs to step up to the oversight, pass this Congressional Review Act and put the ban back on Paraguayan beef. It's really important. I would urge all my colleagues to support this common sense solution to protect our nation's food supply and do right by American ranchers. In closing, I'll just say this. The way we adjudicate animal health standards in foreign countries that want to export beef to us, that system is broken. It is broken. Congress has an opportunity today to provide real oversight and jumpstart the conversation about how much we need on these reforms. And it starts with this Congressional Review Act. Mr. President, I yield the floor.